Hello, my name is Tom Glasscock, and today we'll be talking about tips for dealing with end-of-life affairs. Generally, Americans are very uncomfortable talking about end-of-life issues. It's difficult to consider one's own death, let alone the death of your loved ones. I understand. But if we don't discuss these issues, we leave our future caregivers, most likely our adult children, in a bad position. Many people are taken completely off guard by the decline of their elderly parents. If we don't discuss these issues ahead of time, caregivers can be left unprepared for life changes that will eventually occur. Depending on the amount and speed of decline, these caregivers could have to dedicate a significant portion of their attention to the needs of their elderly charges. Fortunately, there are simple legal planning strategies that can be implemented to help avoid these issues. If you, if you pave the way now, life will be much easier when incapacity, disability, and ultimately death occurs. Here are some ways to prepare. First, have the talk about long-term care. It doesn't matter if you are the impending caregiver or the one in need of care. You have to take time to sit down and talk way before the elderly person starts to decline. Discuss any wants, needs, health care issues, financial resources, and preferences for the amount of inter medical intervention you or your loved ones want in the end. Second, legal documents must be prepared. It's best to work with an experienced estate planning attorney to create legal, financial, and health care documents designed to protect family and any assets. Remember to keep them updated. If the senior begins to show signs of mental decline, they could be declared incompetent, and at that point, it will be too late to sign or change anything. Finally, research any options for, health, for elder care and determine what the senior is comfortable with. This includes preferences on hospital, rehabilitation, nursing home, assisted living, and even independent living communities, as well as options for memory care, home care, and even hospice. I realize that these discussions are uncomfortable, but knowing this information can save stress and much heartache, much more than you can imagine. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 631-629-6558. I hope this information is helpful to you. Please have a good day.